Hey there, everybody. Frozen Puck Gaming back with another episode of Eastside Hockey Manager Early Access Edition. Oops, sorry, I knocked something over on my desk. But first episode in a while. I'm very, very sorry about that. Or uh, the reason being, you haven't seen the episode in such a long time. Partly, I've been busy. That's not the main reason that I still had time to upload. I've been trying to record, and something was wrong with like the computer or whatever. I've been having these issues for a while now, as you know. But it was like really bad. It would like I would get like six or seven minutes into the episode, we'll lose all of the footage, and um, like the file will go corrupt. So we basically went like 20 games into the season, and then um, it just like crapped out. But here we are, uh, I actually reset the game, so we're back at the beginning of the regular season. <laughs> just I couldn't leave you out for like 20 or 30 games like that, uh, that would be too long. But first game of the season here, I'll show you our lines, roster changes. So, as you can see, we actually have James Reimer as our backup. I traded for him. Um, I thought about bringing up, um, where is he? This guy, top prospect goalie. He could be okay for us this year. I would just rather have him get more playing time than riding the pine. Um, I think that would make the most sense. So, Reimer's a reliable backup. His cap hit is a little bit big, but it expires at the end of this year, so he's just a veteran backup in case all mark goes down with an injury or something like i hope that doesn't happen all right so um look at the player who i players who i have sitting right now police you know he's just an eh backup defenseman we're probably going to look into getting a better seventh defenseman for next year or later on this year merkley's a very solid guy he could play third or fourth line minutes right now um so basically, if Peralt or um, like base any of these guys on the bottom three line or two lines are not impressing, Merkley will jump in there because he can basically play. He, he can play anywhere basically. Allmark in the cage, Reimer, Fowler, Norris Trophy winning defenseman, or a sign and the runner up for that. So we got like the Norris line right here, like freaking beast. Hannafin. Good young defenseman, Ferris. Good young defenseman. We'll actually clear all and ask again. Um, Zadaroff and Sabiz are, you know, they're solid on the um, third pairing. So that's the team. I forgot to look at offense. Ben McDavid Kane. That's a staple line. If unless it's not working out, then we put Lazaro for Voracek up there for Ben. Bennett, our new addition. I'm expecting some good things from him. Grabner Backus. Backus is a very good, solid third line center, and we have. A, we have basically, we have all these players on the third line, like, on those lines on a great deal, except for Grabner, his is a bit big. Browlers isn't amazing either, but the rest of them are all on very, very, very nice deals. So those are, that's a lot of depth, and that's why I wanted to acquire when we went out this season, get some depth, you know, mostly get bigger and more physical, which we got by getting Brown and Brower. And Bacchus is also pretty gritty, but they can also all score, so. Let's get into the game. Alright, never mind. <laughs> so we gotta get um we gotta get that cap hit down, I guess. Alright. Best way to get the cap hit down, I I would say send Grabner down, um, just because you know he's not needed, but he had twenty goals last year. I'm not I can't sit that. Reimer's the most obvious candidate to send down. We can't really send the rest of these guys down. They're all very good. Um, or it's going to have to be Reimer, and then we can trade. Um, Sabiza's cap hit is okay, actually. We have him a long term, though, which I don't like. Um, back is this, eh. Um, I don't know. Gonna have to be Reimer, I guess. Um, we'll pick him back up again later. We'll just call him up in a little bit after we make some kind of trade. I don't really know. We're not gonna have a backup goalie. Or Reimer's still up here, actually. It's a drop the puck. I don't know what's going on. Oh, I have highlights on. Don't want that. So Lofton gets the first goal of the season for us. So fourth line depth coming into play right there. And that's exactly what we wanted. One nothing after the first period. McDavid gets one. So first game of the season, um, our depth is showing itself, and you know our big guns are also coming out. McDavid and King getting assist on that goal. Kessel actually got one. I think he was the Rocket Richard winner last year, so that's not much of a surprise. Two goals. 
All right, I'm back. Sorry about that quick jump cut there, but um, anyway, we win that game five to two. So first game of the season, get a victory. That's always nice. Um, always good to start off the season on the right foot. So um, yeah, I guess I don't know. Reimer actually cleared waivers. Um, okay, wonderful. Great thing is we can still have him on the team and save that. Oh, never mind. I feel dumb. Uh, so we'll send. I don't know. We'll just send her. I, I gotta address two goals. I don't care. We'll put this guy in as backup, I guess. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right. There you go. So we'll call up um our rookie goalie in a little bit, and we can put you know make a trade real quick. Get Reimer back in. So up against Vancouver, end of the first period, we're down 2-1, to one, so that's obviously not good, but um, as you can see, Lazarev actually gets a goal there, and that's good to see. You want to get you, you want to get him scoring at the beginning of the year. Another depth addition, Brown gets a goal. Tie it up. Kane gets one, but Barchi answers pretty quick. We're going to overtime here. Make that a shootout. All right. So McDavid will shoot first, um, Lazar off second, Let, let's look at the hands on these guys, alright. Uh, where's Kane shooting? Third, alright, we'll just go with that for now, I don't really feel like dealing with it too much, I guess. Um, yeah, that, that looks okay, I guess, it's not amazing. Alright, so we'll watch the shootout here. McDavid, I don't know where he was going there, but... That's obviously not a goal. Barchi gets a nice goal there. Got to hand it to him. All right, Lazar, make him pay. And that, all right, fine. Rick Nash, I forgot he was on the Canucks now. Um, Allmark with a big stop. Kane needs the score here to keep it going, and he does. What a beautiful goal! Patty Kane ties it up in the shootout. Make the save, Allmark. All right, he misses. So now it's sudden depth here. Ben, okay, okay, you have Mike Green shooting apparently, um, alright, I was about to say why the heck would you have like, I know he's kind of an offensive defenseman, but why would you have him shoot, um, I guess, I guess that worked out for him anyway, um, so we'll call up the rookie goalie right now, I gotta learn how to say that name, Goldobstov, uh, who cares, a recall, Get him up here for now. We'll make a trade. Probably a couple minutes. I just want to see. Like, we'll look at contract management real quick. <coughs> so Patty Kane has that insane salary. Fowler has a pretty big salary too. Basically, um, well, basically, except for Grabner, all these players. Up until Ristol line, we can't move them. Basically, we need to keep those guys. Brown, his contract's a little bit big, but I'd like to keep him and see how he performs. Um, Grabner's the most obvious option. Maybe we wait ten games. Um, Grabner doesn't, you know, he isn't scoring. We trade him, um, or we'll figure that we'll see how he does up until the end of the episode, and then you guys can comment below. If you think it should be Grabner or someone else, or if we should just ride with the rookie goalie because I think he's got potential to be, you know, a good backup for this year. I'd rather get him starting time down in the minors though. But um, on that below, we might actually deal with it at the end of the episode. I don't know, but so you, you know, we don't know how that'll go. So we'll get um, we'll get. Glob in there, or whatever the heck his name is. Um, go Fallmark again for this game. Toronto again, so second time in three games. We're getting our games in with Toronto pretty early in the year this year, so. Alright. 0-0. Zero, zero. Never mind. Kessel gets one, and another. Kessel, Kessel is just like, he's like amazing in this game. His shot is what makes it, though. Like, his, his wrist shot is so accurate. Olofsson gets his second of the year already, so that's good. Um, McDavid gets one. 
as well. Krauss gets one. Ben ties it up, I believe. Thank you, Jamie, Ben. Looks like we're gonna yeah, we're going to be going to another shootout here. Hopefully we can get the win out on this one. Okay. Alrighty, so continue. Well just alright. Okay. I have no idea what just happened, but we we won the game in the shootout. I don't know why. I, I'm kind of confused, but okay. Cool. <laughs> I guess I don't really know what happened, but I won't complain. Alrighty. So Tampa. So the rematch. Tampa was ranked. First or second in the league, like overall in like, you know, season projections, they were ranked first or second in the league. We were ranked third. Bruins were right ahead of us with Tampa. Let's see, they they eliminated us last year. Let's get some revenge. I know it's only regular season, but I don't really care. I wanna win, obviously. Kane and Gravner make it happen. Thank you. Now it's gonna be uh, now I'm gonna feel a little bad if I treat Gravner. Well he only has one goal, you can't really judge him off that yet. But um Kucherov actually does get one either way. We're still rolling along here. It's four to five to one now. So Gravner's like, I want to stay. Um, Kane actually gets a hat trick there, and um, they get three goals. I guess I don't know what's going on now. Brown gets his second of the year. That's a big win there. Allmark didn't play well though. First of all, I mean, he played like a like a champion. Um, <laughs> So that's a huge win there, well, at least in terms of goals. Um, I'd, I'd rather not give up um, three goals a game, but if we get the win, you can't really get too mad. It's actually a home and home game the series, so we're going up against Tampa like already. You know, the next night. So Ben actually gets the first of the game. Thank you, Jamie Ben. Um, one nothing. Okay. Voracek breaks through. Sandheim does get one back. Two to one lead here. All right, never mind. All right, all right, great. What the heck? Allmark's not playing good. Not good at all. All right. So Allmark's got issues, I guess. Um, I don't really know what to do about that. I don't really think it's like the defense's fault. We're, we're gonna drop that game. I don't, don't really know what's going on there. Um, practice. They're all resting right now just because um, I started them resting before the game. You know, just because of they retired after training camp, so I figured I'd give them a little bit of rest. Um, we're going to continue with that for some of them. Me get Allmark. I think that that might be the issue. Allmark's not practicing. That's my bad. Um. <laughs> anyway, it's not a huge deal. We'll give Allmark one more game, and we'll put in um Golubstov. I think I said that right. Hopefully. Um. Again, sorry for the lack of episodes. We're gonna try to get back on a regular schedule. I just wasn't able to record. It looks like this one's actually gonna record. You'll obviously know that, dude, if you're watching it. Um. All right, so Florida division rival here. Okay, thank you, Borchuk. Thank you, Kane. Um, so we're up. Okay, two to one now. Um, Browler gets his first goal as a Saber. Lazarov gets another goal, adding on the last game. All right, four to one here. I think that's going to be the game. Power play. That's it, though. So Allmark, Allmark has a big bounce back game. We'll give him another start or two. You know, you gotta have the hot guy. You know, the hot player running. Um, Kale Clog, doing stuff in Philly, I guess. Um, good for him. Whatever. <laughs> um, so, player of the week. Who cares? Um, going back over here, that we'll look at the stats real quick. As you can see. Ben and Kane ripping it up. Vorchek's been doing good as well. He's got a lot of goals. Anafin's been 
Eh. Well, he's been at, he's had a lot of points, obviously. Minus four, though. That's what sticks out of me, so we'll have to get him working on that. McDavid, I'd like a couple more points out of him. That's it right there. Brown and Ristolainen, and good. Lazaroff, he's got the goals, so that's okay. How many points did he have last year? 83. As long as he's scoring goals, I'm not going to get too mad. He's more of a goal scorer than an assist guy, so that's all right. Ben Bennett hasn't got a goal yet, though. All right. Hopefully Bennett can pick it up. I'd imagine he will be. We'll do off our practice lines real quick, actually. Um, condition. Bad condition. All right. So, Zadarov, Spiza. We'll get all, all, all of our defense more working on defense stuff, even, you know, might help to get some of them on offense. I don't really care right now. Uh, who else? Hannafin. So that's one, two, three, six. I think we have one more guy. Fowler, right? I don't think I checked him. Nope. Get him working on that defense. Not you. Whoops. Um, defense. Um... <laughs> Deselect. Okay, and then we'll get the rest of them. Whoops. Grabner. Lazarov. Even that, it's a. I'll get um. You know the four liners working on defense as well off camera. Because you obviously want them skating. Sometimes we'll get them skating as well. That looks good. Nope, not skating offense for now. All right, good. That's good enough for now. So three one and one or four one and one now. I guess that's not a bad record so far. Obviously, could use some improvement. So, like I said, we'll give Allmark until he um, has a bad game. We'll give him a couple more starts. Actually, I like to take a look here. Get my position. All Mark's average rating actually hasn't been horrible. His save percentage could use some help, but we're a couple games into the year. It's not a huge deal. So Carolina. Formidable foe. As you can see, they get one. Tied up here, boys. Come on. Ah. All right, one nothing after the first. Kane ties it up, though. Lindholm gets one. Eller gets one. All right, great. All right, McDavid actually gets one back. This so That's good to see. Oh yeah, my god, Omar. Kill me. Kill me. Alright. Omar, take a seat. Obviously, 4 2 and 1 isn't a horrible start to the year. I was just hoping for a little bit better. Um. Computers on fire, great. Um, so, guess we'll we'll put the rip. That's not good. So Ben's injured now. That's not good at all. Um. So the first line left wing, he's down with an injury. Great. What else could? Whatever. Lazarf actually gets a goal there. Bacchus gets one to so Bacchus gets his first as a saber. Nice to see that. Rolling along here. Two to nothing in the third period. Grabner actually gets another. I don't think we'll be trading Grabner. He's been pretty good. Backstrom actually does get one. Ruins the rookies. Shut out bid so Poor Kolobstov, he was five minutes, about five minutes away from a shutout in his first NHL game. And he actually eh, he, he let in a goal. That's not a big deal. Still played good. And um, I forgot to tell you, Ovechkin actually went to Minnesota and then Parise came over. I forget like how, but he came over uh, to Washington. So they basically slot players there. Ben's out for a week. A week, uh, a week could be worse. That's not a huge deal. So, that's alright. 
do a couple more games, and we'll end the episode off. Hopefully, I'm kind of confused. What are we doing here? So, Blue Jackets will be our next opponent. And... Why are you taking so long? I'd like to know. Um, here we go, so... Ben could play, we're actually going to sit him. Uh, did Brown get injured last game, or was he injured? I had him playing like a retard. I guess we'll put Ben in. Um, whatever. We'll actually give um, Golubstoff another start, as he played pretty well last game. Go with that, so there we go. Whoops. My bad there. Do we have... Alright, that's good, that's good. Okay. Alright, drop the puck here. Lobstop is in the cage. Let's see how this game goes here. So, nothing. Alright, Hannafin gets one. First goal of the game, Hannafin from, from Lazar off the wrist line and on the power play. So, good to see that. 1 nothing in the third period. Make that 2 as Lazar breaks through with another goal. Conifer gets one back though. Ben gets one while well, he's injured, so the Iron Man Ben, you know, getting it done. And um, Golubsoff gets his shutout bit ruined late in the game again. That's alright though. He's putting the puck in the net, which is what. I mean, not putting. What did I just say? He's stopping the puck, which is what counts. So this guy over in um, Washington's doing pretty good. I hope we play him soon so we can ruin his um, goals against average and save percentage. That'd be nice. Um, so, so far, I've liked what I've seen from the team this year, except for Allmark's been a little bit lackluster, and um, Bennett doesn't have a goal yet, but I believe, you know, once he gets hot, he'll be okay. So I'll get him um, working on a couple things, so don't worry about that. Next episode, hopefully, he'll be scoring. I'll get him working on his shooting and that kind of stuff. Holy <laughs> Wow. All right. Um, wow. Wow, um, who did, wow, look at this, Endress isn't even that bad, he's a, he's a veteran goaltender, he's 35 years old, so he's actually, and look at those, like, attributes, he's actually not that bad, his stats weren't bad either, 1.57 goals against average, and a 933 save percentage, and we just scored five goals on him in the first period, I don't know if it was his defense, just, like, dying, but, I don't even, and look, all of them were within, like, four minutes, that's insane, <laughs> like, what, I don't even know, alright, what the heck, what, we didn't even get a goal on the third, and we win eight to nothing, and Golubstov actually gets his first crew shutout, but we actually did put Cam Ward in later, I guess. And he played okay, so maybe they add him in for the third. But Golubstop gets his first career NHL shutout. And we went 8 to nothing. Holy crap. <laughs> right, that's that's kind of insane. Um, anyway, um, look at these, whatever. And um, Oilers fans are they're, they're a bit salty after that. You know, we were pretty savage. I really just say that, I, I don't know. Um, either way, though, we'll do one more game, end the episode off. Our rookie goalie is coming through for us, Golubsov. Allmark was struggling a bit. That might have been our fault. Um, he's come in. I don't even think we need Reimer. We honestly might not, too. We can give Allmark like, the bulk of the starts, but I do want Golubsov to play down in the minors, you know, get that playing time. We'll give him... You know, we'll give them another game. Up against the Bruins, they were ranked first or second in the league for, um, you know, where they would finish, for projected. So let's see. 
Come on, guys. Keep it up here. one nothing after the second period. All right. All right, come on. Got faith in you. Voracek gets his second of the game. McDavid gets one on the power play. We're going to win this game. Allmark, I mean, not Allmark, Golubsov. Two shutouts in a row. He's won all four games as a rookie goalie. we got to do one more game here. we got to see if he gets to five. Oh, man. Come on, boys, come on. Keep it up here. So catch ends after two, at least two games. You know, so catch. Forgot we traded him to Montreal. Um, miss you, so catch. I did like so catch. He was a good deaf player. Um, we just need to get rid of him from for a bit of a caps point, and we didn't really need him. So catch gets one, ruins the shutout streak. It's two to two though. As McDavid ties it up, and what the heck's a catch? So I. I Look at this, look. Alright. So he obviously was a good death player for us. He always chipped in with a good amount of goals. But I trade him away and then he starts to score like screw you, but <laughs> really? I, I don't like that. I'm not what line is he on there? Yeah, he's getting a bit more playing time. But um really? Thanks a lot. Um Come on. Oh, alright. So we do finally lose a game. Golubsoft loses his first game in the league. That's okay, though. I'm not that mad, honestly. Like, Blair, he won four out of five games as a rookie goaltender. And he played them all in a row. You can't get too mad. So points, we'll look at points. Kane and Ben lead in the team. Kane is having a great year, again. Ben's doing pretty good. Hannafin is actually over a point per game, and he's a defenseman. Plus minus is a little bit better now. Warcheck's been pretty good. Lazar's been pretty good in terms of goal goals. Um, McDavid's been heating up lately. He'll get back up. Bennett has a lot of assists, no goals. Um, I'll figure that out with him in next episode. He should be chipping in some goals. I did my research on him. He's he's a good goal scorer as well. I'll figure that out. Like in game research, not real life, but um, I'll figure that out. Take a, l I want to take a look here though, at um, his stats, freaking insane. All right, that's great. <laughs> I'm not even mad. All right. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Um, hopefully there will be another episode tomorrow. I want to get back on track after not being able to record for a while. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for all of your support. I really appreciate it. Have a great day.